Should I act surprised? <laughs> yes, why not? Yes. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How are you doing? I am excited. This is Pepper of the Hot Pepper Show. And I have the honor of I'd like I'm I'm like I'm pinching myself. I, I should pinch myself, but then I'm like, if I pinch myself, then I might fall out because I don't like to be pinched. Um, I don't think anyone likes to be pinched, but I have to pinch myself because I have none other than the iconic, the legendary, the all of that, the one and only. Hey there, how you doing there? I'm, I'm doing great. How You're looking you? great, yeah. Is, is yeah. it is it because we're dressed in black and we're kind of like alike right now or what, like what's I hadn't even on? noticed that right yeah like we're on the, some kind of telepathic thing here right yes yeah. I know you got that too I I got the memo did you get the memo I guess I did yeah right yeah yeah <laughs> and I didn't even know it yes hello yeah so thank you for joining me um I was uh. I was shocked when I got the call from Ken Wilson, and, and I have to say that that's how we became introduced by Ken and Belinda and Eddie. Yes. And yeah. um, the beautiful people, yeah, right there. Powerhouses oh. in the music business as well. <sighs> yes. Mm -hmm. It is a blessing to know them and to be in their circle because um, I feel that everyone needs a Ken, everyone needs a Belinda, and everyone needs an Eddie, and everyone needs a Colleen. I mean, the Wilson family is phenomenal. Well, the Wilson family is actually from Oakland, California. Yeah, right. My city. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, Your city. Yeah, you had to say that. You like uh, Oakland. Yeah, Oakland. we claim we claim them right. Yes, right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oakland in the house, huh? By Most way of Ar by way of Arkansas. By way of Arkansas for me. Yes, right. Yes. yes. So, I tell everybody that Arkansas is the only state mentioned in the Bible, and they say, "Really?" And I say, "Yeah." I said in uh, Genesis it says Noah looked out the ark and saw. It's the only joke I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know I'm gonna use that. <laughs> kind of corny. Yeah, right. Yeah. So. It wasn't. It wasn't corny. I got it. So you it's got not it? corny okay. now. If I wouldn't have gotten it, it would be like, uh -huh. uh, "What is that? What did you just say, Lenny?" Because I don't yeah. even understand what you just said. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. Um, you've been in this industry for a long time. A long time. Yes. Right. I think I made my first record like 1969 68 something like that and uh then wow. i was kind of goofing around with it a little bit before then yeah so it's been quite a while and uh you know uh, and my daddy say i'm st I'm still here you know yeah. you're still here yeah and and looking at the longevity of you uh working with some of the greatest sly stone andre crouch billy preston and members of the Hawkins family, Ed, Ed, Edwin, Walter, and Tremaine. And yeah. so can we say that your roots is gospel? Yeah, I grew up in church, uh, you know, uh, joined the little choir, I guess, the little kids choir, uh, probably when I was four years old, uh, you know, saying my Easter speeches and <laughs> Christmas speeches and stuff right. like that. Right. And, uh, you know, just kind of grew up in church, singing the choir and uh, a lot of choir competitions. Everybody had a little group and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, kind of always in the background more, to, more or less. And then eventually uh, somewhere around about 16 or 17, uh, I just kind of started uh, emerging a little bit and yeah. you know, uh, doing A and B solos at church. <laughs> and you know, I looked up and I was in a nightclub. Yeah. <laughs> I working in the nightclub. Uh -huh. You are funny. So while you were walking down that aisle in, in the church house, you just kind of eventually says, well, let me just walk on over to the Jew joint and let me just. Um... Well, it's kind of I started going to college uh -huh. and uh, our pastor at our church was very strict okay. and uh, he he didn't want us to wear afros. and He didn't want us to really be involved in the 60s into the uh, the black power movement. He was OK with Martin Luther King, okay. and things like that. But, uh, you know, anything, uh, you know, putting on a black leather jacket and balling your fists up and talking about power to the people. He wasn't for that. Wasn't and so that. as fate would behold it, uh -huh. um, I was going to college with Huey Newton and Bobby Seale. And so wow. every time I passed by, they always had their little meetings and everything. And so we just started talking and I started listening. And then Huey was recommending books to me. He's like, why don't you read this book by, uh, he saw me with my Bible. You know, his dad was a preacher. Uh -huh. And so I was a teenage preacher at that time. 
And so, uh, oh. yeah, you didn't know that, right? I yeah. didn't know and that. So, Praise uh, the Lord. Yeah, we have a hallelujah. In the yes, house. Uh-huh. <laughs> and so he uh, recommended this book by Franz Fanon, a, uh-huh. a uh, Algerian uh, psychologist okay. uh, called Wretched of the Earth. Mm-hmm. And I started reading that. And then I started, you know, uh, deliberating in my mind, you know, about what was going on. Because it was the 60s and we right. had the white citizens council and the Ku Klux Klan and their symbol was the cross and they said they were Christians and, and kind of wondering, well, how can we be, you want to kill me yes. and I want to live. Exactly, exactly. And, uh, you know, so uh, how, how can we be brothers? How can we be, you know, mm-hmm. so I started questioning Christianity mm-hmm. and my place uh, in, you know, in the whole Christian sphere mm-hmm. and uh, kind of walked away from it. But I was like, well, God had given me this gift to use my voice to preach and to Mm -hmm. sing. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, I don't want to lose it because if Mm -hmm. you don't use it, you'll lose it. You lose it, yes. So I said, well, what can I do? So the showcase lounge (laughs) over there, right? uh, We had a DJ named uh, Don Barksdale that actually owned the club. And so uh, he he owned the radio station. Uh-huh. And so it was just like, well, I'll just go over here and kind of do my thing. Yeah. And and you haven't looked back since. Well, I've looked back a couple <laughs> times, right? Yes, right. Yeah, I have to say, but I haven't turned back yet. Right? Yeah, turned back. Okay. I ain't turned okay. back. Yeah, yeah. No turning back. You're like, I did kind of look back, uh, and I kind of like said, let me just keep going forward there. Well, you know how it is because. Uh, as you, you know, I was I was pretty young then, and then so I was always getting uh, older people, and then even some of my peers that would say, uh, you know, you know when are you gonna come back to the Lord? Are you out there singing, mm-hmm. you know, the devil's music and things of mm-hmm. that nature? And mm-hmm. so a lot of times it made you kind of question yourself. So there was always this war going on in your in your mind, you know, because you know you want to be you you want to be right, mm-hmm. you know, you want mm-hmm. uh, you know uh, to be on the right side of right, yes. and so. Uh, and then when I went to Hollywood, uh, I, we started having prayer meetings. It would be me and Smokey Robinson and uh-huh. uh, 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 Philip Bailey and just all these different people uh-huh. and uh, Leon Isaac, uh, Kennedy, and and we would, Frank Wilson, and we would, mm. you know, everybody was experiencing it, that you ain't he. Or you, yes. Somebody said, well, when you going to come on back to the Lord? And, mm-hmm. and you know, for us to be able to learn how to deal with that and not have guilt feelings mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. or, or, or We'll be down on ourselves and things of that nature. So that was that was really really good. Hmm. Wow! Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Thank you for being honest in that and wanting wanting to share that because some people are like, ah, I don't yeah. really want to talk about that. But I think that when I found that when you become older, from what you are taught, you know, you do question you, and it's okay to question because we're told you're not supposed to. Exactly. But I, right. Yeah. But it's okay. You know, we, we have to ask questions and, and it has to be for ourselves and not for anyone else, but for ourselves. And that's how, how we learn, you know, by, mm-hmm. by having, you know, asking questions and looking mm-hmm. for answers. Yeah, mm-hmm. most definitely. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Well, everyone, this is Lenny Williams. And as you can tell, I'm excited. I just, ah, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to have a calm down moment of a, of a woo-saw yeah. and it's going to be okay. Just breathe, Pepper. Breathe. Mm-hmm. It's just Lenny, right? Yeah, just, just, just Lenny Williams, right? Yeah. Just Leonard it. Charles Williams, yeah, right, yeah. Oh, uh, say yeah. your middle name, Leonard Charles yeah. Williams. Uh-huh, yes. Uh huh, yes. Should I say my daddy? You could say that, yes, right. Okay. I told you that uh, you told me your age. I told you, oh, I got kids that age, right? Yes, yeah, so you can call me dad. Yes, right, yes. Yeah, so. Okay, dad. Pops, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. pops. Uh huh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's see if everyone's going to go, what? She called uh-huh. him who? What'd she call him? So let's do this. Let's play. I want to play a song. Uh, Everyone, of course, knows you from uh, What is Hip. But the the song that I like from that era uh, when you were with Tower Power, because Mm -hmm. that was when you started in this industry with Tower Power, correct? Well, actually, I had started previously, but that's when I first got my national and international recognition. Yeah. So you could say that that was definitely a starting point uh, for me. You know, yes, right. Yeah. Nice. So... Um, do you keep in contact with any of them? Uh, well, you know, we, uh, you know, we, we definitely have business, uh, dealings because of the fact that, you know, I wrote a lot of the songs for the band and, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I have, uh, artist royalties and things like that. So we keep in touch like that. Uh, but you know, I, I am, most of the guys that I was in the band with are no longer in the band. It's only like three people. Okay. And so, uh, and uh, unfortunately some of them were passed on. So, 
Right. Well, I do keep in touch with Emilio Castillo, the leader of the band, okay. and uh, Steve Kupka, and, and David Garibaldi as well. Those are the three that are still in the band. Okay. And so, you know, uh, like I said, we have business dealings and things of that nature. Okay. And uh, we we'll try to call each other on birthdays or you know, monumental days. Uh, right, you know, right. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that's the day you fell down the stairs because you was drunk or whatever. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, so. And you're like, I don't yeah. remember that. Right, yes, right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Who, me? No, yeah, do you have yeah, it on yes, video? Yes, you. Right, right, yes, right, yeah. yes. Right. You ain't got it on video that I, uh -huh, yeah, I, it, I, I'm not believing you. I need, exactly, I need right. It was no cell phones in those days, yeah. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> now they'd be like, yeah, I caught you. Uh-huh, I sure did. I got it on video. Yeah. I just Most put it on definitely. Instagram and TikTok so everybody can see it. Exactly, mm -hmm. yes, right, yeah, yeah. So everyone, this is Lenny Williams. I'm going to play my favorite song okay. uh, when you were Tower Power, which is okay. called This Time It's Real. Okay, yeah. I was okay. listening out today. Yeah. Yeah. So everyone, this is Lenny Williams. Let's take a listen. The legendary one himself right here on the Hot Pepper Show. Saw me a girl today who walked with such a gentle sway. And I knew right from the start. I love the feel of the of the the words and the movement and the style and the realness of it and the love because yeah. love is really important to you. It is very important to me. And it's really interesting about that song is mm -hmm. that um I, I came out of the church, so there's no changes in you know, yeah. you just you know, you just bam, you singing no 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 bridges, no changes and nothing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. uh that song uh, on the end and i know i can feel it uh -huh. this time every time you do that and i know it was changing keys right <laughs> i'm like yeah, what's going on here i'm, I'm trying to get in the groove and you yeah, know you gotta remember every time you're saying i know it, it's it's a different key right uh -huh. I was like, oh shoot <laughs> you know stand there boy and use that brain yeah listen open those ears yeah so oh, yeah, that it was funny. Uh, interesting yeah that's funny so are you um do you enjoy writing? I do. Yeah, I like to write. Uh, you know, I, when I was in Top Power, I wrote uh, uh, quite a few songs, and then uh, since then, I've you know I've been doing a lot of writing. Uh, I 
I don't write as much as uh, I'd like to anymore. Uh-huh. You know, and sometimes I think about that. I think about writing. And, I, you know, like we look at athletes and we say, ooh, Michael Jordan was great or Mike Tyson was great right. in their time era. You know yes. what I mean? Yes. And it's like age seems to kind of push you in the background. Like you can't really do it anymore. And I think about, about um, songwriters like Bob Dylan or Smokey Robinson, or mm. even Stevie Wonder. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. When's the last time they wrote a hit? You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, yeah. you know, it, it, it's it, it's like you, you have your, your cycle. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. after that, it's like, you know, it's almost like you burnt back a rack. I mean, we just go down the line and name all the, Paul, I was watching Paul Anka last night on TV. Mm-hmm. Paul Anka, you know, I mean, mm-hmm. so many different great songs. Uh-huh. And, but you notice that uh, it, you know, at Babyface, I'm looking yes. going down the line. You know, it's, you know, it's been quite a while since he wrote a, a big uh, hit, uh, and so uh. I think of that songwriting is a, a young person's game in a way, hmm. and uh, I think that you do it, and then you just kind of like uh, the rest of your life, you kind of uh, live off your laurels, so to speak. Hmm. You get to yeah. travel around and sing yeah. all the yeah. great songs, and then it, you know, then occasionally you might come up with something you know yes, i don't yes. know james brown he kept on coming with some hey you know <laughs> hey, hey. you know <laughs> care how old he was exactly mm-hmm. and then you, you you speak of the people that have written songs you know like you said stevie wonder what about frankie beverly and Mays? yeah right yeah right it's, yeah right that frankie oh, prolific <laughs> songwriter right yeah you know the golden time of day i was like what this boy from philadelphia how, what do you know about the golden time of day he's living in the hood but you know and i listened to some of his lyrics and i was like oh man it's just prolific you know and 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 and, and that's why people love it so much uh, you know the but of course the melodies that go with it yes. but the you know just the, the beautiful lyrics that touch you mm-hmm. and so I always not think about that, you know, so so sometimes I don't write as much as I used to mm-hmm. and I mm-hmm. feel like I'm, I got a writer's block or, yes. you know, or I'm, I'm over the hill and then I think, and I start looking at other people, uh-huh. you know, these great, great songwriters and uh-huh. I say, oh, okay, well, maybe it's just a, a thing that, you know, we did our thing and now it's time to, you know, to let that marinate and we live off of it and, uh, and, 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 and let the younger people come up with, uh, with, you know, with the lyrics and and the things that they're thinking about. Yeah. So who are you? Who are you listening to? Who who has your ear right now? Oh, well, I listen to radio, you know, and I listen to you know what, what my grandchildren listen to, you know, uh, 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 what's her name, uh, Money Money Long, and uh-huh. you know, and uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. you know, just uh, you know. It's just whatever's on the radio, I listen to it, and it's just kind of interesting how that the majority of songs are written about love. Uh, I, I imagine if you just went back and you studied the history of music, the ninety mm-hmm. something percent of the songs are written by love. Mm-hmm. But it's interesting how people can say it in a different way, in and you say, way. "I never would have, I never in my, my, my wildest imagination would have said that some a woman that." that way that I like you or I'm looking at you or mm-hmm. you know what I mean or mm-hmm. you know and so it's just kind of kind of interesting to just look how the various concepts and the, uh, the and, and how people use language to yes. express themselves yes it seems very direct it mm-hmm. seems very uh like no bars like oh huh, like and we're sitting over here going what uh-huh. that's what you would say but right. you know back in our time we would just, they were saying the same thing they were saying <laughs> Uh-huh. I can't believe you listen to that. When I was, I'm a hip hop head, so when I was listening hip hop music, right. my parents would say, "What are you? What are you listening to?" And I'm right. like, "Oh, that's you know, that's Cool Bo D, or you know, uh-huh. that's, you know, the Sugar Hill Gang." And it's like, you know, that music to them sounded the, the same way that we're saying for this generation. Like, oh golly, I can't believe you're listening to that. So yeah. right, yeah, yeah. When I tell people all the time, if uh, if you think that uh, the lyrics are provocative in in art in hip hop or yes. whatever yeah. or rap. Uh-huh. Go back and listen to some blues in 1920 and 1925. <laughs> I mean, it will put some of the stuff that some of the rap stuff to shame. I mean, it'll just make it'll make you blush. That's for uh, sure, right? Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, it'll make yeah. you blush. So yeah. I, I have to give I have to give these shout outs to people that are chiming in. So first of all, Teresa McShan, um, she's a cousin. Uh, mm. She became the first black mayor of Elgin, Texas. Oh, yes. Wow. Hey, so, what's going on? Yeah. Teresa, thank you for tuning in or watching. Yeah. And also Anthony Jackson, who's a um, he's out of Atlanta. 
Okay. He's a, uh, he's probably going to want me to connect you with him because he is a house uh, DJ, oh, house cool. music yeah. phenomenal. Uh -huh. yeah. And I know that he would love to do some house music to your stuff, especially because I love you. I would love oh, yeah. to hear that as a house song. We definitely have to hook up with Anthony for sure. Yeah, okay, most definitely. I will yeah. connect y'all. And then also yeah. my cousin, Nicole. Hey, Nicole. What's going on, she says, Nicole? Hey. Nikki Nicole, yes. <laughs> Nikki Nicole. And then um, Pamela, she's out of New York. Her and her husband, Dale, they're they're watching us as Facebook user, but I know who it is. And then Carla Frazier is a phenomenal dentist in Austin, Texas. She's, oh, well, she's yeah. looking now and then my sister uh, Gloria. I look at these molars back here, right? Yes, right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she now what she'll say is get closer to the camera so I can see. That's what oh, she'll yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. She's, he's like, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> not tonight, anyway. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And then my sister Gloria from uh, Fort Worth, Texas, is on. Man, yeah, a lot of Texans tonight, huh? Because we do it big in Texas, but then it seems so that all the Californians are coming our way. Yeah, right. We're raising the prices. My brother's uh, actually there, and uh, he's been there about, ooh, maybe about 18 years. He loves it. He, you know, he says that uh, he loves the educational system there, and uh, he uh, he hasn't started talking funny yet. Although he did say <laughs> milk the other day, I was like, "What? Well, milk is like a five, six syllable word now? You know, you, you, you know, kind of strange, boy." Yeah. <laughs> Say the word again, Lenny. Say it again. Milk. <laughs> I want a glass of milk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> milk. So where is he at? Is he in Dallas or Houston? He's in uh, Dallas. Yeah, right. He's in uh -huh. Dallas. Okay. Yeah, he was. Uh, uh, he's a minister. He was with uh, Tony Pastor Tony Evans for about uh, oh wow yeah ten years as his assistant, and now okay. he has his own church there. I forget the little city. I uh, can't think of it. The uh, uh, section of Dallas, Dallas that he's yeah. in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he's okay. doing well. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Right well, and everyone, Lenny yeah. Williams with his milk. Say milk again. Milk. <laughs> milk. Yeah. So everyone, everyone. So anytime we're gonna do this. Anytime Lenny says milk. Uh, we're, yeah. If you have, I have, I have tea. I have tea as well. You have right, tea, yeah. so we're gonna yes. drink some tea. So okay. Most so uh, yeah. Anytime he says milk. Okay. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, I tease my brother because he started to talk a little. Yes, right, yes. That is so funny. Wow. Okay, so everyone, let's get back into some music. Uh, Lenny, I want to play, I, I have to play your, your Stellar that everyone okay. loves. And, you know, when I tell people, uh, when people say, who is Lenny? So I sent mm -hmm. out these, uh, you know, a mass text to people and they were like, who's Lenny? Who's Lenny? And I go, really? And they go, Oh, cause I love you. And then uh -huh. they have to go, eh, 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 uh, 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 So when I, when I hear that song, uh, not to compare, but it reminds me of, of Keith Sweat, cause Keith Sweat is known as the guy that the beggar. begs, the beggar. Right, yeah. So that, I think that song back in that time was a bigger song cause you were like, but say I, that, I came before Keith. Keith, Keith is like, yes. is a you know like you say A D and B C. He's he's <laughs> he's A L after Lenny, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But Keith and I did a record together. It never came out. I went to his house. Uh, he had a studio in his house, and and I actually had sang that night at a at a club in Atlanta. So I don't know. My voice wasn't you know. I kind of really? worn it out a little bit. So I guess Keith put it over there on the side. He, you got to come back, Lenny, and and sing it again or something. But did we actually get a record together. We was trying to outbeg each other. Yeah. <laughs> but I think they, they probably went for the young, good looking guy anyway. You know, like I, was, I was waving the hundred dollar bills, like, come on our way. He's you know, like, no, we're going with the youngster. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you have to get that song because I would love to play it on my show. So I know. Well, Keith's I would got do. it, you know, right. Okay, well you need to get with Keith. I don't uh, know Keith, I don't have Keith's number. Uh, if you want if you want to give me his number, I'll call him and I'll, I'll get the, I'll get it from him. Okay. He doesn't know who I am, but he'll know uh, who I am by the time I finish the conversation. Okay, well, most definitely. We're going to see if we make that happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and if that happens, you're going to be like, Pepper, I need to put you on my payroll because uh, yeah. if you can get that out of him, uh -huh. I have Maybe worked a miracle. Ethan and I both can put you on the payroll. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. I think right. I need to be on the payroll. <laughs> yeah. Right. You can be a Jamaican. Money comes from everywhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I'll, I'll call you after the interview and tell you how many <laughs> things I do because I am Jamaican. Yes. I really am. Yes. So, um, 
Oh, everyone is waiting for the song. Teresa said that's that's the jam. And hey, Laurel, my my massage therapist, she just yeah, she just loved on this body of mine. Just so I can look excellent for you. Well, I appreciate that, Laurel. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, right. Yes, kudos to Laurel. Kudos to Laurel. Okay, everyone, here's the song. Cause I love you, and. We go. We go. Try to play the whole song because you know it's seven minutes long. It's seven minutes long, right? Ooh, Lord, have mercy. Okay, so oh. we'll get we'll get to the we'll get to the the begging and then we'll just fade it out. Okay, you whatever you want to do. Uh, you want to do what? I said whatever you want to do. I'm with you. Yes, right. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Lenny. You running this thing? Thank you, Dad. <laughs> yes. Thank you, pops. <laughs> Everyone, this is Lenny Williams, and this is cause I love you. Here we go. No matter what, and I hope you understand me. Every word I say is true. Cause I love you, baby. baby. I'm thinking I'm of you, of trying to trying be more, to be more of, a of a man for you. But we gonna see you through Cause I love you oh, 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 Some men need lots of women things got so bad until I, I had to go to one of my friends and talk to him and I told him I said you know I'm having problems with the woman that I love it seems that I call her on the phone and I I just can't get her to answer and then I went to her house and I saw a car parked in the driveway I knocked on the door but still my knocks went unanswered and then I went home and I, I watched television until television went off 
And then I played my records until I just didn't want to hear them anymore. And finally I went to bed, but I found myself waking up a few hours later. And the tears were running down my face. And my friend told me, he said, Lenny, you just ought to forget about her. But I told my friend, I said, you know, maybe you've never been in love like I've been in love. And maybe you've never felt the things that I've felt. But this is what I told my friend, I said, you know, sometimes you get lonely. You get lonely. You get lonely. Would fill up in the wells, in the wells of my eyes, oh baby. And then it got so bad, it got so bad. To one time I thought I'd roll myself up in a big old ball and die. And then I met you, darling, and you smiled at me. Oh, oh, it was such a pretty smile, yes it was. You reached out your hand. You help me. You help me. Your heart. Oh, I'm glad, baby. I'm glad, baby. Oh, 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 baby. Oh, oh, oh. I wanna believe you, baby. I wanna believe you, baby. seven minutes didn't you <laughs> <laughs> well exactly it is mm -hmm. seven minutes and seven seconds to oh, be yeah. exact uh-huh yes <laughs> now when i uh when i recorded that song it was uh -huh. funny i was down in uh, la and uh -huh. uh, andre crouch and his sister twin sister sandra had been trying to come to the studio uh -huh. and we never could make it happen so they came on the day that i was singing that song everybody said well why were you singing so emotional on that song was it behind a woman? I said, no, I was trying to get Andre to wave his hand and shout hallelujah, <laughs> put a put hundred dollars in the offering or something, you know? <laughs> so that's what you were trying to do. You were so funny. <laughs> yeah, I tried to get Andre to shout a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and now they're like, mm, uh, uh, my money yeah. going elsewhere. I don't uh, think so. Don't think so. Wow. But I so see what somebody put on there that they saw me in Aruba singing this song with Anthony Hamilton. Yeah. And okay. actually I was over there, they had a big festival and uh, I, I think I opened up. For, I opened up for Alicia Keys one night, and okay. uh, and then Anthony was in the in the audience. He was kind of hanging out because he had uh -huh. played the night before, uh -huh. and then we were doing "Cause I Love You" doing this song. And somebody said, "Anthony, come on up." I said, "Yeah, come on." And it's funny. I was at the uh, funeral last week, and oh. uh, the engineer that engineered that he has the the tape and the audio visual tape. I said, "Man, you got to find that." And let me have it, oh, you know, wow. so uh, I could send it to Anthony and, uh, you know, I'd like to look at it. Yeah, right. And uh, and Anthony was kind of like holding back. I said, no, no, come on, let's dig it. He was, he was trying to be nice because I'm older, you know, like, I ain't going to show you up, Mr. Lenny. I said, Boy, <laughs> do your thing, you know, because this is, you know, the more you do your thing, it's going to make me do my thing. And we had some fun that night. Yes. Uh -huh. That is great. Yeah. yeah. I, I think when you started off, when you said I was at a funeral, uh -huh. I was like, wait yeah. a minute. Uh -huh. They ask you to sing that at the funeral. <laughs> well, you know, preachers that cuss I love you now. They the preachers they ask you to sing that on Sunday now. They it's like uh, uh that that ain't that ain't really R and B. They say that's that's uh, that's 
that's got a little something in it, you know. I mean, that got a little Holy Ghost in it. You got you, 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 Williamson sang that at the church. Yeah. Yeah. Lenny can yeah. come here saying, "Can't nobody else sing it." But Lenny, if Lenny here, yeah, come on, cause I love. Now you got some folks that sing it. That little boy Jeffrey Lewis uh, uh, was in Tyler Perry's uh, play. Uh -huh. He's yeah, he sang it. He sang it. I, uh, they, uh, Tyler and them came to town. They said, "You, you got to come to the show." That I said, "What they want me to come to the show for?" You know, they just kept on come to the show, and boy. Uh, <laughs> And they came out and, and Muddy will say, uh, no, you can't mess with Lenny Williams. You came and he starts singing that song. I said, oh, that boy did it. Then I uh, I asked the uh, music director after the show, I said, what key was that? He said, B flat. I said, oh, he, he was in the right key, too. He was yeah, in the he, right key. Wow. Yeah he, yeah, he did that. Yes. Well, I want to play another song that is really funny to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. I can't get this right. I, I'm if sorry. I was there, I'd help you. I'm like, can't get it right. I need uh, live here. I'm like, this hair. Well, I have hair and you don't. Okay. No, but I got a little bit. There's some strands up there now. You, you just can't see it. Right. Okay, yeah. come closer. Come closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm pulling it. Yeah. It's, okay. Yeah. I, <laughs> I need some tweezers, but you know, it's all right. Yeah, right. Yes. Anybody got any tweezers? <laughs> For Lenny? Yeah, like, yeah. I got some tweezers. So I want to play this song. This song is really funny to me. Okay. It's called I'm sorry. I didn't know it was your mama. <laughs> See, we was at the club one night, right? Uh -huh. and, and so we we're taking a break. So uh -huh. we walking back to the dressing room mm -hmm. and one of the guys in the band, you know how they are, the band members, right? Uh -huh. So he gonna holler at this at these ladies at this table, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so then one of the one of the ladies was offended. She said, I don't, I don't know what he said, but uh -huh. you know, kind of borderline something. So right. she said, you can't talk to her like that. That's my mama, right? Uh -huh. And he said, well, I'm sorry, I, I didn't know it was your mama. So we got back in the dress room and said, well, she was the one that, the mama was all tatted up and she had the ring and she was on the pole and <laughs> dropping like it's hot. And so we came home and I was riding down the street and it just came to me. I had to pull over on the side of the freeway and grab my PG, my, my PG and E bill, you know what I mean? My light bill and just start writing it it's on that and turn it over on the other side and write it and Oh, and then wow. it's like, bam, I said, well, let's go in the studio and make it happen. Okay, y'all. This is the song. You got to listen to the lyrics. So this is super funny, okay? It's called, I'm sorry I didn't know it was your mama. And uh, he just told you the story. So uh, let's take a listen. Here it is. This is Lenny Williams. I'm sorry. Walked in the club, real short skirt, low cut blouse, perfume smelling real loud, red lipstick, long, long, long fingernails. She got on the dance floor, started shaking her tail. We started to dance, she invited me to her place. As soon as we got there, she started kissing my face. I'm just a man, I couldn't resist I never thought it would turn out like this Didn't know it was your mama, she looked so young She kept on showing me that ring in her tongue Oh, I'm sorry, didn't know it was your mama Like the girls in the videos Bending all over, touching her toes She was doing the Tootsie Roll I hate to tell you, your mama was a working that pole She's shaking to the left Hey! She's shaking to the right Oh! Your mama shook that big thing of hers all night I never thought it would turn out like this Didn't know it was your mama She looked so young She kept on showing me that ring in her tongue Oh, I'm sorry Didn't know it was your mama Oh, I'm sorry Didn't know it was your mama Hey, I'm sorry Didn't know it was your mama Sorry, I didn't know it was your mama. 
Your mama's sexy, sexy as can be. Yes, I did your mama, but she also did me. I don't mean no disrespect. But look at this hickey your mama put on my neck. Hey, I'm sorry. Didn't know it was your mama. I tell everybody, say, yeah, you, uh, you, you think your daddy married your mama because she make them good biscuits and gravy and <laughs> she wear hair in a bun and teach Sunday school on Sunday. She, mama had something going on in that moo moo. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I say, because look at it. If, if you 35 and your mama's 55, that means she was 20 when she had you. So, mm. you know, mama wasn't just like, uh, uh -huh. Mom was, mom, mom uh -huh. was, she was doing her thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's right. But I know we don't like to think about our mamas like that. Yeah, I know. It's that. like, yeah. ooh, they mm. they did what? Uh-huh. If you think about the things that your parents uh, have done, well, mm, nah, nah. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, we're going to take a yeah. picture of her at church. You with that cup on her hands and the little gloves on. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. So... Yeah, Vincent Powell, yes, right, yeah. When I listen to that, I just, I just think it's really super funny. So I was mm -hmm. like, I gotta play that song. So yeah, it is funny, right? Yeah, yeah. But, the, but, but there's a, there's a kind of like a, a moral story there, you know, because when I was coming up, mm -hmm. even though my mama was fine, she dressed like a mama. You know, mm -hmm. she comported herself like a mama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, nowadays, <laughs> eh, you know. Okay, why you sound like you're from Texas? You said well, now day, now day you sound like that. What's that word you say? What's the word? What's, Milk. What's, uh, okay, Milk. But uh, nowadays, uh, well, I'm from Arkansas, you know, so we just, you know, right down the road a little piece, yeah, especially like if you're down the, you know, in the west part of, the, you know, Texas. Arkansas. Yeah, right mm -hmm. down, yeah, so, yeah, but. Uh, east part of Texas, uh-huh. But, yeah. uh, you know, you, yeah, right. Because I remember one time I was in uh, uh, Shreveport, right? Mm -hmm. And so, and then I was, I think of the little college town that where they uh, the, where the where they did the the speech thing, you know, or where they did the debate team, right? It was famous where they did that yes, movie about yes, yeah, yeah, right. with, uh, with, uh, uh, yeah, Denzel Washington. I can't think right, of yeah. yes, yes. So it's real interesting. I was supposed to be in uh, Shreveport, mm -hmm. and then I did a show in that little town where that college was, right? So then the guy, the, the program director from Shreveport, called me and said, Lenny, uh, you. You're supposed to be up here next week and you over there doing the show down the road. And I said, I'm in Texas. And he told me, man, you could throw a rock from Shreveport to that part of Texas. I said, I didn't know, you know. <laughs> I said, I'm from California. I've been in California so long, I don't know. Uh, and uh, I said, uh, you gotta forgive me, right. But I said, so now I have to do my geography when I'm down south, because it's mm -hmm. like, well, you you might be in Mississippi, but you, you know, you right nine miles away. from Memphis, you yeah, know, so, exactly. yeah, so, but, uh, yeah, I, learned... I think that goes true, that serves true for the states, you know, east of Texas. Exactly right, huh? It yeah. takes you all day to get out of Texas, but once exactly. you get past Texas, it's like, Louis you can be in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama in one day. It's like, uh, most definitely, uh-huh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I'm, I, I learned my lesson, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, I'm... what about the clocks behind you? I wanted to talk about those clocks. Those clocks, so... for, the, for the purpose so... of, do they all work? 
Uh, not right now. Uh, they need batteries in them, right? But uh, but they used to. I mean, I guess they work if I put some batteries in them. But I guess uh, I go overseas, and my wife want to know uh, what time it was to call me to check on me, make sure I said my prayers, and and that I wasn't entertaining. Uh, you know, one of the sisters I wasn't holding no prayer meeting over there with. Uh, yeah, the uh, one sister that's... Annie May and nothing like that or whatever. So the, yeah, the, the one that you didn't know was our mama. That's yes, right, so. exactly right. So. <laughs> Yes, uh, at least that's I'm suspecting that's why she bought it but uh, uh, <laughs> yeah and you said uh, the batteries are not in it so we're not using it right now that's, exactly that's for right. sure yes, that's for right. sure yeah, yeah. so let's go back to another song this is a okay. song since we're talking about the south mm -hmm. I want to play southern girl southern girl right. mm -hmm. yeah yeah well my mama was a southern girl and uh, my sisters and you know uh, uh, I've been married three times yeah. You've been yeah. married three times? Yes. Uh -huh. And so my first wife was from Monroe, Louisiana. My okay. second wife was from Houston, Texas. And my wife I got now, which we've been together 44 years, uh -huh. is from uh, Dallas. Oh, well, she's actually from Sherman, right outside of Dallas. Oh, Sherman, right? Texas. Oh, you mm -hmm. got you a Southern girl. Yeah. They're all uh -huh. Southern girls, but yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. So then I say, okay, uh, it's something about them Southern girls. It's like. So what is it, do you think? Give me, give me five words that describe a Southern girl. Well, I think that they're uh, physically beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I think that they're, uh, they, they have maternal instincts, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and, uh, and I find most of them to be uh, spiritual mm -hmm. uh, in some kind of way, you know what I mean? Uh, they, they're spiritual, mm -hmm. um, and lo loyalty, mm -hmm. and uh, and let's see, another fifth thing is that uh, well, I said loyalty, but uh, mm -hmm. that they you know they, they just they they can cook too. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. They they can they can they can you know do some cooking. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Tayshia but says, uh, amen, amen, amen. Amen, yes, right, yeah. They're going to make sure you go to church, you know, and keep, you, <laughs> keep you near the cross, you know. It's like, I know you kind of wild, but we're going to have a prayer meeting, you know, every now and then or something. She's going to pull out that Bible on you. Uh, put like that oil on you while you're walking out the door yeah, to go to yeah. London. She's going to be yeah, like, right. put, have put a that, safe trip, baby. Uh, put that <laughs> blessed oil on you. you. Right. Uh -huh. and, and if you really get to acting, wrong or something like that they might plant your drawers out there in the in the backyard or something or put something in your kool-aid you know uh, I, I haven't heard about what they do right yeah. oh, golly. <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about i've never heard of that i know you i know you so you're so innocent right yes, i right, am yeah. i know uh, nothing about that i know nothing about no draws being uh, outside uh, yes but, but, but uh yeah i just found uh there's a distinct difference, you know, and yes. but but I told you know, and, and, and when I did that record, a lot of a lot of women would come to me and they would say, "Well, I'm from New York or whatever, and I'm from California, and so you leaving me out." And I'm saying, "No, not really, because uh, if you got a, a Southern mama or a Southern mm -hmm. grandmama, you know, if you ever, if you, I say, if you know, when they say uh, it's snowing down south, if you know what that means, then you're a Southern girl. Do you know what that means? You too young. <laughs> no, that means your slip is hanging. Look, oh, <laughs> thank you, Pop, because I didn't know that. I'm from the south, it's, but I was it's like, it's snowing down south. That means, uh, yo, know, y'all don't wear slips no more, right? But no, back I in the used day, to. They, I used to wear yeah, the white right, yeah, and, That meant your slip was hanging, right? Uh -huh. Oh wow, oh, it's snowing some, down uh, south. If, if somebody say, uh, "What's going on with that kitchen back there?" You know. Oh yeah, I know that's the nap yeah. area. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, you, you need some done with that kitchen, right? Yeah. No, you know, if you've got a Southern grandmama or something, you know, auntie or something that taught you something, you know, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, you know, how to sit and all that cross your legs <laughs> and everything like that, you know, you're, you, you, you're a Southern girl, so you, you can claim it. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pep, you ain't ready. Oh no, I was like, uh, I know that other stuff, but I was like, the slip, what? Slip is uh -huh. hanging. So now yeah. you know, right? Yeah. Now, now, uh -huh. no, my cousin says slip is hanging, girl. Okay, uh -huh. okay. Uh, yeah. I'm uh -huh. sorry. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I still wear. It. No, I don't. I'm not even uh -huh. gonna lie. I don't wear slips. Yeah. yeah, I don't think they do. They sell them anymore. I yeah, they, they they still do. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah they yeah. still do. But I, I have, I have some in my drawer. I haven't put them on in forever because I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, but I do have lining up under my clothes yes, where it doesn't uh, require a slip. Okay. I it see all the young see-through. girls now. They if they went uh, the see through this and the see through that, and <laughs> I'm like, well, it's like I, I I get it, you know. But then it's like where's where's going to end, you know? It's like mm. I don't think Diana Ross like you know I, I see them maybe singing and they. I don't. I don't want to sound like an old fogey or nothing like that, right? Uh, yeah. Well, you've you've earned your right to say it because I think that you know I I was always told everybody don't need to know your zip code. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, you know you, you look at Diana Ross or mm-hmm. Eartha Kitt or Barbara Streisand. Mm-hmm. You know they they never had to sing in a in a leotard or mm-mm, mm-mm. you know mm-hmm. a bikini. You know they just, just Rita Franklin. Uh, you know. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, you know, I just kind of wonder where, where, it's, yeah. where it's going, you know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was about to say no slip. She's about to say no slip. No, I mean, <laughs> mean no slip is hanging. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm like y'all, uh, so y'all can say, uh, like my daddy say, I, I learned y'all something. <laughs> I learned you something. I learned you something. So everyone, this is Lenny Williams. I am so enjoying this. You know, I was supposed to be on here for an hour with you, right? Uh-huh. I'm going over. Okay. An uh, uh, alpha. An uh, alpha. Uh, alpha but mm-hmm. we we having so much fun i gotta play some more music so okay. let's let's do this one um uh, so uh what is this is your trademark man but i'm what is this your trademark but i'm an incon okay oh oh hey how you doing okay so uh everyone this is lenny williams with southern girl if you're a southern girl you will understand these lyrics right even What's if you different? don't know, it's, mm-hmm. it's snowing down south. But yeah, you you still get it. You still get it. Everyone, this is Lenny Williams with Southern Girl right here on the Hot Pepper Show. Yeah, yeah. Man, we got to do one, Lenny. What you got, Levi? Got to go there, man. Hey! This is dedicated to all the girls down south. We ain't talking about just the big cities. We talking about backyards. Come on, barbecues and dates and dudes. Hey, come on. Seven girls. Seven girls. Come on, yeah. Talk about the seven girls. Seven girls, yeah. All my friends, they've been telling me about the girls down south. They fine as hell Even a blind man can tell That's why I want one for me Listen, five foot three Or maybe five foot eight The way it's stacked together Man, it sure looks great You look so good That's why I gotta stay away Cause every time you come around All I wanna do is pay she bring you right on down And you can't get enough Don't say what you won't do With a southern girl Texas and Kansas City too. Jackson, Mississippi. 
funny because my friend uh i wrote that with my friend levi mm -hmm. caesar he mm -hmm. played uh played guitar, guitar for prince in the okay. new power generation band he played with prince for 13 years uh -huh. and he said man you always down south every weekend you down south is the money that good i said the money's good <laughs> everywhere i said but the southern girls lord have mercy yes uh -huh. you just don't want to <laughs> run into no ice pick or nothing like that because you know they told the ice pick now uh, yeah oh okay <laughs> you got ice pick don't you <laughs> you got something to stick somebody with. I don't know what it I is. Think <laughs> I don't see. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I don't know anything about the stuff, the drawers, the underwear hanging outside. I don't know nothing about that. You don't know none of that, right? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you little church girl, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's little just... sister Pepper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, look what someone said. Knife or two. Oh. Knife or two. Yeah. yeah, they know some about that. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. My wife's got a thing now where she's teaching uh, uh, black women how to sh uh, shoot guns. She's got a uh, thing, and they go out to the rifle range and and uh, stuff like that. And uh, because a, a lot of lot of lot of women, especially African American women, are you know the you know they're the first line of uh, defense for their family. You know mm -hmm. they're the mm -hmm. first responders for their families, mm -hmm. and so uh, it's very very important. You know. You got it. The ice pick is good, but you know, you might need a little something else, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, right. protect your, protect your families and stuff like that. And, and, and so many uh, of our women are, you know, victims of crime. Right. And uh, it's, uh, because of some of the neighborhoods that we live in or our communities, there's yeah. some, you know, things that are going on. So, uh, yeah, so, but uh, yes. they, you know, they'll, they'll make you back up off of them though. Yes, they will. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is so, what my cousin said about me. You led a sheltered life. Uh -huh. Cousin, tell, tell me something else, cuz. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cousin, mayor, uh, uh, you are. Oh, that's the office. mayor. Okay, that's right. Your mayor. honor. Right. Oh, yes, right. Yeah, yes. your honor. You mm -hmm. are the mayor. Okay, your honor. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, yes. watch it. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, so what are you looking forward to in life right now, in your life, at this, at this, at this time in your life? What are you looking forward to? Like, what makes you happy? Well, I just kind of looking forward to uh, maybe like a <laughs> retirement or something like that, or, or mm. something, some kind of semi-retirement. Trying to figure out what retirement looks like for me. Mm -hmm. uh, spend more time with my wife, uh, my kids, you know, grandkids. grandkids. Mm -hmm. uh, my baby daughter is uh, pregnant now, so you know, mm -hmm. we're looking forward to you know her having uh, some kids yeah. and. Uh, Getting ready to have my like my first great yeah. uh grandchild and uh -huh. so you know looking to spend a little bit more time uh you know maybe going back to school and you know doing oh. some studying or something like that uh okay. going to, like junior college or something like that and uh maybe i don't know study something you know i've got to figure out what to study you know, you know, okay to, so let me ask you this if it was not music mm -hmm. uh, also people don't know this uh that you're you play the trumpet also Right, I played trumpet. I was thinking about maybe going back and studying the trumpet, maybe or something. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. The next time I do a record, and everybody go get it. Maybe he ain't doing nothing but trying to be like Miles Davis or something, right? Yeah, he's doing his Miles Davis imitation. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. 
okay, you can yeah. do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can do that. So if it was not music, what would you what would you be doing right now if it had nothing to do with the music? What would you be doing that would just like anything that you could be doing that had nothing to do with you providing um, for your family? If it was just you and you could be doing something right now, what would you be doing? I I don't know if I would be a preacher, but I would try to be uh, a servant of the people, hmm. uh, you know, helping young people mm -hmm. or women, uh, you know, to uh, better their lives, you know, some kind of way to, you know, to be uplifting. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I, I pray about it, you know, it's like, like, uh, like, God to kind of show me what it, what it is that he would want me to do. You know, what can I fit in? Because I'm I'm old and my cousin's going to be fragile. You know, he's like, hey, you're so fragile. Every time you come to town, you got to have a scarf. You want some water. It got to be warm. And uh, you got, you know, uh, you know uh, got to have the window up. You know, I say, like, well, why y'all want to call me fragile? So I say, exactly. well, God don't think I'm fragile. So I said, maybe he might have some place for me, something to do. But I yeah. definitely would like to be uh, just be a servant of the people yeah. and you're trying to do some good, you know? Yeah. yeah. But I think, I think like I was mentioning to you earlier about my acupuncturist told me years ago about uh, covering my neck, mm -hmm. you know, cover your chest right, when God. you're out because the weather goes from, like I was right. telling you, the weather was 70 degrees of the day. And then mm -hmm. what, two hours later it was like 35 or 36. Yeah. So yeah. you have to do that. So that that's how you are able to do what you do because you can't, you can't dress or be like you were when you were in your twenties. Exactly right. You know, it takes you longer to to heal if you get sick or if you mm -hmm. break something or so you just have to. So yeah, I do I do room temperature water. I I don't drink cold water. Mm -hmm. I drink room yeah, temperature. Yeah, I wear my scarf all the time, and then mm -hmm. it's like uh, you, if you ever do a show with Eddie Levert, when they come off stage. I know the people at the hotel be wondering, where are our towels at? Because they all got about four, five towels wrapped all around their neck, looking like mummies. But, they, but Eddie can always hit that, you know, them, so that money, 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 yeah. money, money. Well, it's time to do it, you know what I mean? Yeah. He talked about me and my girl, you know, whatever uh -huh. we had to, you know, uh -huh. talk uh -huh. last night. Yeah. You yeah. Know, so, uh, but yeah, you, you definitely have to, your know, maintenance, uh, you know, is, uh, is the key for sure. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. So let's play another song, everyone. This is Lenny Williams, the legendary Lenny Williams on the Hot Pepper Show. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, I, I'm I'm so enjoying this. I'm I'm so enjoying this that I'm just like I, I'm, I'm milking this right now. I, mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't say it right. I'm what? Milk. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Get it? Yeah, get it, yeah. You missed one, but yeah, let's do it this time. <laughs> mm. Yes, milk, milk. 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 So everyone, uh, uh, the next song that I want to play is uh, Stepping and Dancing. Mm, that's, we went way back. I went way back because I, mm -hmm. I love the style of this. This is like a uh, this is like a swing out song. This is a couples thing. Mm -hmm. And I so miss that. Like, you know, when I, when I, well, well, I haven't gone out, but when I, you know, when I, when I do go out, I, I want to, I want to dance. Yeah. I want to dance with. Oh, I want to dance with somebody. Yeah. Feel the heat. Yeah, right, yeah. I don't want to dance with all women. Mm -hmm. I want to dance with heterosexual man. I want yeah. to dance. I mm -hmm. want to be like, you know, I want to be in the groove. I want him to hold me. I want to do all of that. So that's what's missing in the music these days because it's like, you be like, what a. I, okay, everybody's line dancing. And it's like, you know, it's that, that moment when, when I was coming up, you know, you'd be in the club. And I would go out to Colleen to the clubs and be partying and dancing and everybody's walking up and, you know, you chair dancing mm -hmm. and then they ask you to dance. And, you know, my girlfriends would be like, no, I don't want to dance. And then a song comes on and all the women get out there and dance together. Right. I was like, so you don't want to dance with the guy? Like, <laughs> so what's wrong with the guy? So yeah. So I wish those days would come back. So Colleen, so that's down there uh, by the, the, the base, right? Oh, they, they got menses down there, don't they? They have menses down there. And that was in that was in my yeah. younger years. And oh, when I yes. left college, uh -huh. <laughs> yes. I said, no more. Mm -hmm. That was it. So yes. That was it. Yes, mm -hmm. because my cousin says I'm sheltered. So I had to leave that era of my life. Thank you, cousin Teresa. Mayor, honorable mayor. 
It's the honorable one. <laughs> okay, so, um, oh, okay, so Blue Monday at Fort Hood dancing with the Cougars to Kenny Williams songs is how I ended up making trips to South 31st Street and Temple. Gee, thanks, Mr. Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime, anytime. He says anytime, anytime. <laughs> anytime you can help. Everyone, this is Stepping and Dancing by Lenny Williams. Let us check it out right now on the Hot Pepper Show. <laughs> So nice, you smell so good. Ooh, I wish I may. Oh, I wish I could get you out on the floor, turn you around, watch you shake your body down to the ground. Turn the music up, turn the music up, and the lights down low. And the lights down low. Love is in the air. Ooh, girl, you got that glow. Wanna see you shake, wanna see you shimmy, come a little closer, oh, I got to have you near me. Come on, baby. Oh, we're dancing to the music. Flash a pretty smile for everyone to see. I'm so proud to dance with disco royalty. Turn the music up, turn the music up, and the lights down low. And the lights down low. Love is in the air. Ooh, girl, let's let it flow. Girl, let's let it flow. Wanna see you shake? Wanna see you ship it? Come a little closer, girl. I got to have you near me. Yeah, 
I love. So how does it feel listening to music, uh, your music, and it's been a while since you've listened to it? How does it feel? Yeah, because when the, when you said that song, I was like, okay, I know I wrote that song, <laughs> but then I was like, but when? And I was actually thinking that it was further back than it was. Uh -huh. uh, but I uh, wrote that with my friend, uh, DOA, uh, Derek Allen. He just produced uh, Kim's latest album. Oh, and, okay, uh, okay. Yeah, so uh, him and I wrote that. But we were just talking about how that uh, you have all these dance shows on, mm -hmm. on TV, mm -hmm. but it's it's something about a, a black woman when she dance. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, not to say that other people can't dance, mm -hmm. but, you know, it's like it's no so training, no, 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 da no dance school, no nothing. Yeah. They just... It just the way they move, you know. Yeah. It's, just, it's it's something, you know, that's unique, uh -huh. and to them, uh -huh. and uh, and it's just uh, it's mesmerizing, you know. Yeah. And it'll, yeah. it'll make you buy four or five drinks at the club, you know. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, nah, it's, yeah, I will see her dance, right? Yeah, right, yeah. So, yes. what has been the most embarrassing moment of your career oh, while Lord, being on mercy. stage? I've had so many. Uh, I remember one time I didn't know how to, he said, now listen to me, Lenny Williams, right? And I thought I knew how to get on stage, right? Uh -huh. And so I went down and, and next thing I know, I was out in the audience. And it's like, and the stage is up here, right? And so then it was like, only thing I could think of was like trying to get to the stage. So I, I'm climbing up the stage, you know, and <laughs> my back to the audience and it was like, you know, and then you know, I had to kind of pull myself up, military press cutter, so to speak, and I wasn't strong enough to do it. So <laughs> just like, oh, this fool don't know how to get on stage. And then he, he, he trying to pull himself up and he ain't strong enough to do it. <laughs> like, okay, I'm exposed. Right here, right here. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to be laughing so hard, but that was so Yeah, you funny. laughing at me. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. But, okay. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, uh, wow. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm I'm laughing with you. I'm not okay. laughing at you. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad to know that. <laughs> okay. Let me stop crying because now water is coming out of my eyes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. So um, another one of the songs that I love. I'm I'm hitting these songs that you probably, you know, like you said. I know I wrote that song, but. Mm. This is another one that I truly love, okay. and I play it on a certain day of the week. You know what it's that is? Tuesdays. No. Is it Tuesday? No. Okay. 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 I'm, You're I'm like, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm kind of lost now. <laughs> Sunday. Yes. Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Sunday afternoon. Oh well, yeah, I wrote that with with the uh, actually with DOA. I wrote with him, but uh, but he was more of the writer than I was. Right. He had the idea and he had uh -huh. kind of started it and then he asked me to write it. So I, I got credit for being a songwriter on this, but okay. really it, it's, it's DOA's baby, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, everyone, this is Sunday afternoon, even though it's Tuesday. No, right. today's yeah. Monday. Monday, yeah, right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're having so much fun. Yesterday was Sunday afternoon, so. Exactly, yes. Yeah, but you yeah. can play this any day of the week. It doesn't have any to be day of the week Sunday want, yes. afternoon. You yeah. can make it Monday. This is Monday evening. We're just going to call it Monday evening. Let's do it. Yeah, everyone, this is Lenny Williams right here on the Hot Pepper Show. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know, multitasking. Here we go. <laughs> Bright and early Sunday morning, I go to church and thank God for another day. And when the service is over, I spend quality time with my family. See, we all get together for a bite to eat and cool out, both having real good times. By this time the moonlight is lit While the sun's going down I go to the park and fool around On a Sunday On a Sunday afternoon oh, Having so much fun. much fun 
Everybody's chilling. Everybody's just chilling. Yeah. On a Sunday afternoon. Everybody's dressed casual. Cause we done shed our Sunday clothes. And we all gather around the picnic table. Watching Grandpa hold school with the dominoes. And the young folks, they all be dancing. Showing off all their latest steps. Yeah. And Grandma done took off her apron. She's moving, she's moving. Oh, 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 by herself. On a Sunday. Having so much fun, and we all just chilling. Everybody, hey, on a Sunday, on a Sunday afternoon, on a Sunday afternoon, we be having so 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 much fun. Everybody's just chilling. Took me back, yeah. <laughs> How did that feel to take you back? I saw you grooving your hair. Yeah, like... I was thinking, thinking about uh, being in the studio with DOA and uh, you know, just kind of marveling at all his success now. You know, uh, uh, producing uh, Kim, and I think he's getting ready to produce Rihanna. You know, so hmm. it's just exciting. You know, uh, be around some youngsters and. Uh, and see how they, uh, you know, watch them progress and, you know, and just grow, you know, into into themselves. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think nice. that, you know, maybe I had a little part in that, uh, you know, or some, some, somewhere along the line, we fellowship together and wrote a uh -huh. few songs. Yeah. Uh -huh. So um, when it's all said and done, mm -hmm. what do you want to be remembered as? What do you want people to remember you? Well, you know, it's funny because I was thinking, uh, like I said, we had a, a couple of, of deaths in our family uh, mm -hmm. here just the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd written something a long time ago and, and I was like, I don't want to scare my family, nothing like that, make them think I'm think about ready to leave here or nothing. But I just want to kind of let them know that I wrote this thing. It says, many times I think of the day I'll surely die. Friends will gather around and say, I really miss that guy. A creditor will come to get the balance of a bill and my family will gather around to open up my will. I hope my friends will miss me, the creditors get paid, and I'd really like to leave my family some financial aid. But most of all, I'd like to know when they, but once I, I'd like to know when they take that final look, they'll smile and say within their hearts, he lived his life as an open book. And so, you know, just kind of like, you know, for life, it's like an open book that everyone can read. Mm -hmm. And man would make few mistakes if only we take heed. If we study those before us, read them page by page, I'm sure that we could solve the many problems of our age. So I just kind of like to be 
hmm. like an open book, you know, so to speak. You know, sometimes my kids ask me, Daddy, what you do? I said, well, if I told you, you might not like me uh, anymore. If I tell you some of the stuff I did. But if you want to know, I'll tell you, you know. Mm-hmm. And so uh, just be an open book so that, uh, you know, if I did something good, mm-hmm. that people can try to mimic that. Mm-hmm. And if I did some, you know, a little slew footed, you know, <laughs> that, uh, you know, they, you know, don't do the same thing uh, that uh, that I did and, you know, yeah. to go in another direction. So, you know, just uh, kind of like a person that uh, that enjoyed life and, uh, you know, that uh, explored, uh, mm-hmm. you know, explored and, uh, but, uh, you know, tried to stay near the cross as much as I could. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm way over there and they crossed over and I'm like, hey, I'm, 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 I gotta hurry up and get back over here. Yeah. So, uh, one thing that I think is what I have learned from speaking with you, because in case people don't know, this is my second interview with you. Yes. Uh-huh. I interviewed you. Mm-hmm. Not many years, but some years ago, and yes. I, I thank you for I, I thank you again for coming on this platform with me and yes. uh, sharing your knowledge and your talent and your love. And thank yes. you for remembering me and that I. Oh, how I could I forget a, you? Right, the little sheltered girl from Texas. <laughs> Cousin, honorable mayor, I'm going to get you for that. (laughs) But thank you for remembering me. And I'm glad that I made an impression on you for you to to want to be a part of this. Because you could have easily said, no, I want to be, no. You're good at what you do. You know, you're good at what you do. And you have a a platform. And this is what what we need, you know, for people to, you know, have a platform to get out and uh, express themselves and, and, you know, talk to one another. And, uh you know, fellowship. And so I appreciate you for what you do, because if you weren't doing this, I'd probably be in the bed. You know, my wife be looking for me at five o'clock. I'd be in a bed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see, it's five o'clock. I said, I know what time it is. It's five o'clock somewhere. I know. Uh-huh. I'm in the bed. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I, 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 I gather from uh, speaking to you that uh, I'm sure there were times that you wanted to give up, mm-hmm. um, but I'm glad that you didn't. I'm really glad that you didn't because I'm sure that doors have been closed in your face. I'm sure that you've been told no so many times. I'm sure that you have been discouraged by the naysayers, but you continue to to keep on. And I, I thank you for that because um, you're able to tell the story. You're able to tell us your story. I appreciate you. Know, I appreciate you as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, music business, uh, show business is not an easy thing. Uh, you know, you, you, you look at, uh, you know, success stories. I mean, like people don't realize that the, the Supremes, I think they made, they used to call them the no hit Supremes at mm-hmm. Motown. I think they made eight or nine records before they hit, you know, mm-hmm. and I'm sure they probably it's like, girl, you better go to cosmetology school, learn how to do some hair, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, and, uh, so and then, you know, even as you go along, you know, just learn how to manage your money and yeah. make sure you get your money and how to manage, you know, just all of that, you know, and, you know, you know, there's the different things that come along, you know, so, you know, I, you know, I acknowledge that they're, you know, that it's, you know, it's, it, it's fun, but it's, it's been a struggle, but, but it's fun. You know, you look and yeah. you, the good things you acquire, big house. Yes. Yeah. Cards, money in the bank. Right. And then, you know, it really just boils down to family and friends and mm-hmm. your relationship with God, you know. Mm-hmm. So do you, um, do you, I had a question, you were saying, wow, it just left me that quick. I guess mm-hmm. I wasn't supposed to ask that question. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh no, there was a question. The okay. question is, have you ever done a song you know written a song or you know you wrote the song and it's yours and someone else you heard it on the radio someone else is singing it and you did not get compensated for it has it ever happened to you well it's yes that's happened and uh, y'all even sang on a song that was like you know so trillion records and uh, you know mm-hmm. didn't get paid for it you know mm-hmm. all that you know make you want you know kill somebody you know what i mean you know smack i mean because no i <laughs> no, beyond I smacking yeah right <laughs> you know like you know you just you know make you want to you know yeah 
be human. You know what I mean? You know, you get angry. You know, yeah, and yeah. but you know you, uh, you 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 think about different people. So that's why history, reading history. I think it was Merv Griffin. You know who invented all these games. You know, uh, you know he was a talk show host, and he invented. Uh, uh, I can't think of all those those games that come on right. TV at night right. and, and everything. And how he talked about how he sell, sang on a million seller and he didn't get paid for it. Mm -hmm. And you think, you know, but look what he, he did. You know, you, you, got, you got to put it in perspective and you got to keep on going, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that who knows, maybe somebody who whoever stole that from him at some point in time probably had to come to him, you know. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, he basically ruled TV and, mm -hmm. and some of the shows, you know. So, you, you know, you, you just have to figure out a way to, to keep on keep on moving and and I used to say you know uh I used to say when I was uh younger I'd say when I get in my 60s mm -hmm. uh I'm just gonna uh go on a, on a spree and I'm finna get everybody that did me you know mm -hmm. yeah, and then I yeah. I got the 60 and dude life was good you know it's like dang I just forgot all about them I, you know they was on my hit list you know <laughs> I'm having too much fun so then I say well maybe I'll do it when I'm 70. Now I'm almost 80. Came, like, like, yeah, I was having, I'm, yeah, I'm almost 80. I'm having fun um, like a big dog, you know? So it's like, <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe I get them in the afterlife. Who yeah, knows? So yeah. I, 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 or I just I don't even think about it too much yeah, anymore, yeah, you know? Yeah. And, uh, but uh, I'm getting mad now because you brought it up. Yeah, I oh, shit. Up. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but, uh, I, you know, it's funny. I don't even think about it, but, you know, it's like, ooh, if I, you know, 30 years ago or something like yeah. that, if I'd have seen them, yeah. you know, I'd probably be in jail for, you know, yeah. you know, for murder one or something, you know, yeah. so, but. I you, think your mindset is different. You, you, you become wiser, you, mm -hmm. you grow and mm -hmm. maturity. And mm -hmm. also I think when your lifestyle changes and when it, it seems comfortable as mm -hmm. opposed to, you know, if you were not comfortable, then of right. course you, your mindset would be like, yeah, I need to get my money. Yeah. Right. They, exactly. They owe me, right. But yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you just, you know, you just find the what's, what's important. Yeah, exactly. You know? Right. Yeah, Don't priorities. sweat the small stuff. You know, it's not yeah. really, mm -hmm. it's yeah. not that major. Yeah. It used to, it used to be big stuff, but now it's small stuff or, or now it's just insignificant. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, you don't even, don't even think about it, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. So, yeah. You live and you learn Yeah. and hopefully you grow mm -hmm. and you mature. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, my, my wife think I'm, so you, I'll be acting like I'm 14 or something. Like, don't you at your age? Like, what you want me to do? I can't help it. That's just the way I is. Yeah. That's, I think that's great it's, uh -huh. you know, to, yeah. to have a yeah. young heart. Yeah, you know? most definitely. Yeah. I sag sometimes. I put my little gold teeth in. And... No, you don't. <laughs> no, I'm okay, just go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Uh, <laughs> go get it. Look at you. Like, yeah. I'm a little gold front end. Get my sag on. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'd be like, yo. And then uh, Carla Frazier, the dentist, will be going, come a little bit closer so I can uh, see. Yeah, right, yeah. Maybe she can hook me up. Right, yeah. <laughs> Carla, he needs to be yeah. hooked up. He yeah. needs his, need his grill done. Exactly, mm -hmm. right. Yes. A few little diamonds in there. Oh, yeah. I, I, I just think of height and I'd be like, hi, yeah. Uh, ah, what does it smell like? Yeah. <laughs> the food and everything. I'm yeah. Turn that. Okay. Okay. That's my disclaimer. Okay, everybody. Uh, so. Yes. Uh, let's talk about your new single entitled Weekend Blues. Mm -hmm. It's actually weekday blues, right? Weekday. Yeah. Oh, it do. Yeah. It, you know, look at it. it does say weekday. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, it, but but a lot of people refer to it as weekend blues, but uh, weekday blues, uh -huh. and it's just a, a song, you know, just talking about how that you know you you work all week and you 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 go you know. I'm just imagine, you know, a person's life, you know, you, you got kids, you got to drop off at the babysitter and you got to make sure you get off of work and fight the traffic to get back there in time uh -huh. to pick them up. Uh -huh. Cause if you don't, they gonna charge you, you know, $50 yeah. an hour and, and uh, you know, just all the different things you have to do. And then the weekend comes and, you know, some people want to just lay back and read or right. somebody want to go to the massage parlor and get their body, you know, massage uh -huh. or, uh -huh. you know, in this case, you know, just talk about going to the club and, having a good time yeah yeah well good everyone day. um this is lenny williams and we're gonna play um his brand new single entitled week day blues exactly yes see i got it right i, was, I had to 
I had to be like, you better get it right, Pepper. Because <laughs> cause Pops is going to say, you know you saw that name. You better get that name right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everyone, this is Lindy Williams' latest single, Weekday Blues. Let's check it out. Yeah, well, we gonna rock this club tonight. We gonna have some fun tonight. All right, baby. Pop a few bottles tonight. If the love is right, I think I feel all right. Hey, finally, I can tend to me. Hey, baby. I'm gonna have some fun tonight. Cause I worked all week long And ain't had no sleep But that's alright Cause when I go home and I put on my clothes I'ma gas the coop up baby And you already know I'm rolling all the way to see you I got the top lit back and the radio up too I got paid on Friday hey. Hit the club on Saturday And won't nothing else do Cause I'm done with the weekday blues We gon' have some fun yeah. tonight I work all week long Pop a few bottles tonight Tonight I wanna get it on I got your door, hop inside, and let's ride. You already dance. We gon' have some uh -huh. fun tonight. And the way you work in your back, Woo! I think I like it like that. Put it all on me, all on me. Yeah. Now when we pull up to this club and I valet these keys. Don't worry about your boss and that job It's just you and me I'm rolling all the way to see you I got the top left back and the radio up too I got paid on Friday Hit the club on Saturday And won't nothing else do Cause I'm done with the weekday blues Don't know about you but I know about me, oh baby, and I'ma get out tonight. Get out tonight, and have a little fun tonight. Yeah. Don't know about you, oh God. But I know about me, come on baby, and I'ma get out tonight. Have a, have, have a, a few drinks tonight. tonight. Hey. Oh, baby, we gon' pop a few bottles tonight. Feel so good, baby. Just throw your hands, throw your hands, throw your hands, throw your hands. Throw your hands. Oh. Feel all right, baby. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm rolling, rolling, rolling to see you. I'm coming, baby. I got the top laid back and the radio up to play your favorite song. I got paid on Friday, pocket full of money. Don't spend it on Don't spend it on you. you. Cause I'm done with the weekday blues I'm rolling on oh, the way to see you On my way back I got the top left back and the radio up too Oh yeah darling I got paid on Friday I got money baby, baby. On Saturday And won't nothing else do Spend it all on you Cause I'm done I'm with done the weekday blues I'm done with the weekday blues I'm done with some fun tonight. Oh, yeah. Yes. Thank you, yeah. Ooh, right. I like. Yeah. I like that, everyone. That's his latest single entitled Weekday Blues. Yeah. Everyone is liking that. 
Oh, cool. I'm, uh, I wrote that with a little guy out of uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Yes, right. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. okay. That's why it has that little Southern soul feel. Yes. Too. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. So, Somebody introduced me. Preston Glass introduced me to him. Preston Glass is a very famous uh, songwriter. Wrote for uh, uh, wrote Pink Cadillac for uh, for Rita Franklin. Okay. He wrote a uh, bunch of songs for Mariah Carey for mm -hmm. Whitney Houston. Okay. He wrote a uh, trillion songs. He wrote the song "Don't Make Me Wait for Love" that I did with uh, Kenny G. Yes. Baby, don't make me wait for love. You know, so and he introduced me to this young kid, and so it's like, oh, okay, let's see what you got. And so uh, we settled on that, and. Uh, Nice. Right yeah. I like. Okay. Well, Lenny, the time has come. Um, I want to say thank you. Much love to you for. I appreciate it. I accept by. that love. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. You're yeah. so welcome. Uh -huh. Welcome, welcome, everyone. The Hot Pepper Show. Thank you for joining me on Neil Soul Cipher um, platform. NeilSoulCipher.com is the website. Check out the website. Lots of interviews and information on there for you to keep you up on what's going on. I am going to be starting to do interviews on Neil Soul Cipher twice a month. Lenny okay. is today. In two uh -huh. weeks, I'll be interviewing Carol Riddick. Carol Riddick is also the background singer for Will Downing, and she always she has two projects out or three projects out. So she's going to be my guest. And uh, so mark your calendar, you guys. November the twenty eighth is Carol Riddick. And then November, I'm sorry, December the 12th is Kenny Lattimore. So every two weeks, I'm going to be doing interviews. Um, you never know who's going to drop in. So I just thank you for dropping in with me, Mr. Lenny Williams, Pops, Dad, Daddy, oh, Daddy, right. Daddy, Daddy. All righty, now. <laughs> okay, now. All right. <laughs> You're like, okay, daughter. Uh, yes. <laughs> So do you want to uh, say, you want to give any shout outs, any holla at you, any thank you? Well, I'd just like to say that I, I really appreciate you uh, for, for the platform that you have and uh, I'm really, really excited and, you, and you're very good at what you do. And I just want to say to all of the, your listeners and everybody that uh, I really appreciate their support over all the years and, uh, you know, buying the records, the CDs, coming out to the shows, calling the radio station, requesting the music, and that I definitely don't take it for granted. Hmm. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone is, everyone's charming in. Lindy, they loving you. They, they, they love you. Uh, look, look at that great interview. Tayshell, uh, outstanding. Uh, my birthday, November 17th, I'll pass it on to the family. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, everyone's chiming in, chiming in. So honorary Texan. Oh, oh Lindy yeah, yes. is honorary Texan. Yes. You're Milk. Yes. <laughs> oh, drink another. Come on. Yes. Come right. on. Yes. I'm going to be drunk in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Off a tea. <laughs> oh, hey, you know, I get, I, I got that Indian in me. I get drunk quick. Yeah. <laughs> water, water will do it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, everyone. I love you. Love you, love you. See you guys in two weeks. The Hot Pepper Show. You can catch me every Saturday on KZI at www.kazifm.org. I'm there from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. every Saturday, The Hot Pepper Show. And then I'm on neilsocipher.com every two weeks, twice a month. I will be doing some interviews for you guys so you can uh, find out and, and love on the people that I love. So thank you for joining me. Much love to you, Lenny. You are always you. welcome. Okay. Okay. The door is open. All right. Come on, You're going to leave the door open? I'm going to leave the door open. Come on, okay. Daddy. Okay, thank you. Bye, you guys. Thank you. Adios. Adios. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.